Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. This is one of the most anticipated videos for all streamers alike. A lot of people have been hitting me up on Twitter recently talking about, hey bro, we noticed that you got the stream deck. The stream deck isn't out yet. When are you going to make your videos? When are you going to unbox this bad boy? When are you going to show us how to use it? When are you going to stream with it? Well, I got a little uh, note for you guys. I've been streaming with it for about a week and a half now. Now, if you want to watch some of my past streams, you can on my YouTube channel. But what I want to do today is unbox this bad boy for you guys. As well as, I want to show you how I set up all of my icons, all of my streams, and how you can use this in your day-to-day -day usage of a computer. I'm telling you guys right now, this bad boy ain't just for streaming. It's for your computer usage on a daily basis. Let's get into it. All right, guys, now that we have the box in our hands, it looks like Elgato went with the same type of setup with their boxing. They really haven't never strayed away from it. They keep it in a nice, slightly blue, small, compact box. But what they have done is they have rebranded their entire company. So this is their new logo. So in case you see this logo and not the other one, you are not getting ripped off. This is the Elgato Gaming brand, okay? All right, so let's open it up. Now, first thing you'll notice is it comes with just about one thing in a box just the stream deck itself nothing extra except the stand alright so let's go ahead and get the quick guide out the way alright so this quick guide is really nothing new besides where you need to go to get the software and stuff like that you know just a couple things that you can do to get it quickly set up you know this is something that you'll definitely have to read through when you get one of these yourself Okay, so the next thing that comes inside the box is just a safety instruction manual. You really don't need to know anything about this, so let's move on to the Stream Deck itself. The first thing that you see is the Stream Deck here, which has a cable connected to it and is not detachable. So that means that this is one entire unit, not a detachable cord. That means everybody who always loses their USB cords to the HD60s and stuff like that won't have to worry about this problem with the Stream Deck. Now, the next thing inside the Stream Deck case is the actual stand for the Stream Deck. Alright, so this is how the Stream Deck looks. It has many different variations you can change from. It can be flat. It can be stood up straight. Let me give you a side view of this right here. It comes with four holes and notches for the Stream Deck as well as two small ones in case you don't want to use the big one and you want to make it even more flat, even more at a nice degree angle. Now let's move on to what the Stream Deck can actually do in terms of making your streaming experience better. Okay guys, it's time to see what this Stream Deck can do, man. I'm going to go ahead and hook this bad boy up to my PC and get the tutorial rolling. Alright guys, now that we are on my computer, I have OBS running as well as Stream Deck's application. Now you're able to download Stream Deck's application from Elgato website after you make your purchase. Now just to let you guys know, little disclaimer, if you guys do want to pre-order or purchase one from Amazon, the link is inside the description. But let's move on. So. The first thing that people are going to want to know is how does it work with your PC? Because streaming, we can go over many different ways. There are many different variations of how you will want to stream. But when it comes to your desktop, you want to know, well, what do you mean I can do certain things? So you guys are looking at a video of the actual stream deck in action right now. So if I wanted to open up Discord, all I would have to do is press Discord once. All right. Now, you guys can see that the cruiser is loading on my PC and Discord has been loaded. Now, the funny thing about this is you can do this with any application, any website, any different file of music, anything that's on the computer you can launch through Stream Deck. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and minimize Discord real quick and show you guys Stream Deck in a whole. So this is what my Stream Deck looks like, as you guys can see in the end live video. Now, little disclaimer, the actual unit has not launched and is not for sale and the application is not updated. It is only compatible with two programs, Game Capture and OBS, and it's also compatible with tippy stream this is like a european live tip jar donation type of website it's also good with that but also you can tweet from it 
You can send messages on Twitch. You can view your live viewer account, change it to sub only chat and change it to slow chat. And when you come to system, this is where we are gonna live. You can change to different websites, switch up hotkeys, turn on hotkeys, open up different programs and even play multimedia. Now I know you probably think, what do you mean play multimedia? It's a play button in the middle of my stream deck. I can hit play and it will play music that I have playing through Windows Media Player or even on websites. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause that and I can even turn the volume up, turn the volume down and skip. So check this out. Skip, turn volume down or you can max it out. All right, so now moving on, we're gonna go down to kit. Now these are all my websites. You can go and open up any different website you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up Kit real fast. It launches Google Chrome, of course. Now, if you don't know what Kit is, basically it's a website that shows all your setups and everything like that. Mine is kit.com slash Carter. So if you ever wanna know what I'm using for videos or anything like that, that's here. Now, I can also open up Netflix. You know, I'm not signed in, but I can open that. So I'll be signing into this real soon because I wanna see 13 Reasons Why. And I don't know why, but then you can move on to Twitch. It'll open up Twitch. No problem. Now, remember, I'm just pressing one button and it's launching to these websites all in the same uh, actual Google Chrome. It's not opening up another Google Chrome or anything like that. It's not too messy. It's very, very pristine. Now, I can open up my Twitter. I can go on here, tweet real fast, close Twitter, and then get back to what I'm doing. I can even go to YouTube Gaming and see how my videos are doing or reply to comments in the comment section. And also YouTube has added this little sponsor button to my profile on YouTube gaming. It's something like subscriptions on Twitch, it's pretty dope. All right guys, now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create two different type of layouts. Now this is where things get very advanced. So in the general tab, you have your brightness, your software version, your firmware version, and they let you know that things can be updated. Now, these are where the accounts lie. I have my Twitter and my Twitch connected. Remember, I said these only can work with a few different sites. All right, now layout. See, you have a reset configuration. I'm gonna go ahead and click reset. All right, I know you guys are probably like, what? What is going on? You just deleted everything. Guess what Stream Deck has? A dope feature where you can actually load in your layout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click import. And then I'm gonna go to where my actual imports lay. Now, you guys see I have Stream Deck Layout Twitch, Stream Deck Layout Desktop. The first portion of this video was all about the desktop, how I can get to different websites and load things out. Now, the funny thing is guys, I can actually have both of these uploaded at the same time if I use the folders feature. I'll show you guys the folder feature a little bit later in the video. But let's go ahead and open up Twitch right now. Let's go ahead and click replace and check out what we have here, man. A whole new layout, a whole new look, and it's time to check out what OBS is all about. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the display capture for a moment because I actually wanna show you guys how my streams look when I'm live. So I'm gonna start off with where my streams start. So if this was a normal Pro-Am stream, I would actually have this actual starting screen set. All right, now, if I wanted to go live, I can go live and then it can go straight to this screen where I'm actually gaming. Now, I do not have my camera uh, source plugged in right now that's actually hidden because I don't need to be on cam for this portion. Now, you can share on Twitch, hey, come to my Discord. With one button, guys, it sends out an entire message with a link, everything like that. You can tell people to follow you on Twitter. You can basically tell this thing to do anything. All right, you can tell them, hey, go subscribe to me on YouTube, man. It's really, really dope. And you can also change the chat to sub only mode and you can turn some only mode off. You can turn it on slow mode and turn it off of slow mode. Now, this is the dope thing. You can actually tweet out things as well, guys. Oh my God, this thing is just so dope. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a new window. 
and we're going to go to Twitter. Now I'm going to drag Twitter over and I'm just going to go ahead and click here. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the tweet button now and check this out. I sent out the tweet, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to refresh. You guys seen that it gave me a check mark, right? Literally five seconds ago, guys, it says, hey, I'm live streaming right now on Twitch. Come through to the stream. And if you want to play me right now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete this tweet because I'm not streaming right now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now let's go into the program a little bit more because the last time I didn't show you guys the, the nitty gritty, the guts of the program and how to set the stream deck up. So here you just have to actually sync your OBS to the stream deck, which is done automatically if you're running the 64 bit version. All right. So if you have the 64 bit Elgato game capture version, you have to have 64 bit OBS and you have to have the 64 bit stream deck application. Now you can change the title to anything you want to say on the actual button that you see here and collections. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like in the OBS. So if I drag OBS over here and then I come back to the stream deck, the collection says green screen streaming. That's the scene that I'm in from the scene collection. All right. Now the scene is stream starting. All right. So if I press stream starting, it'll go to stream starting. Okay. Same thing with when I want to go live. Same thing with the be right back camera. All right. Now that you guys are at my PSN home screen, I'm going to show you guys what some of these different features for the gifts can actually provide. Now I'm going to go ahead and press the green ranger right now and you're going to be in all. So all I do is press one button and the green ranger pops up. All right, let's go ahead and load them back in again. Now I do not have these on loop because these are for funny moments. So the green ranger is simply for when I get a green release on 2k. Now I press the MJ MJ is completely for when I cross somebody over. All right, completely for when I cross somebody over. Now this saying thing right here, this is probably the best part of the stream is because this is when I go Super Saiyan. When I get 10 or more points on the stream, this will go off and it's looped and it'll last to the end of the game, win or lose. All right, now I can go ahead and turn that off anytime I want. And Shaq, Shaq is for when bull crap happens to your boy. All right, and Shaq is not on loop either. So Shaq, MJ, and the Green Ranger are not on loop, but the Super Saiyan is on loop. Um, also, there is a feature that you can actually add in folders. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys that as well. So let's go ahead and minimize that right there. Let's go ahead and close that. Now, I just reset my layout, right? All right, guys, now that we have three scenes here, what you gotta do is just drag them over and just put them over next to them. So go back, drag, and then put them over. Now, you guys will see on the home button of the stream deck, there's a folder. And inside that folder, you can click and go to the next three. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on the stream deck. Boom. And then you have more. So, I can click boom, boom, boom at any given time, guys. And that's how you do the folder feature. And you can put many different things in a folder. It's just not, it's not you know, entitled to put just one thing. You could put all different kinds of things in the folders, guys. You don't have to be limited by anything with this device, anything at all. You can put anything in here. And if you guys see, when you work with Elgato software, it comes with dope icons already set up from the actual app. So you don't even really have to do anything if you're using a game capture software. But when you're using OBS, you can load in custom icons. Now, I know a lot of people were probably thinking about that in the beginning of the video. Can you put custom icons on? And if you guys seen the trailer for this, you know that you can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing review how to. And I hope you guys check out the stream deck, man. I'm going to go ahead and start playing some music now. I'm going to get up out of here, but make sure you guys check out the stream deck by clicking the first link inside the description. And if you want to buy it and you need help, hit me up. Peace, guys.